I'm all set up here. I have my chronograph behind me. Um, I'm getting ready to shoot bows over the chronograph and do some testing on feet per second and bows. I'll make a video out of it. But I figured I should make a better, uh, video first um, explaining why I'm using feet per second to compare bows. Um, I don't want to make it out like I'm putting too much emphasis on speed because um, most people that have been around the traditional world don't get hung up on speed. Um, we know that speed isn't the most important factor. Um, most of most traditionalists want to shoot a heavy arrow and they'll compromise the speed for the weight of the arrow. The heavier the arrow, the slower the arrow is going to go, but the momentum of it, you're going to get the um, better penetration and stuff. And I do agree with that. Um, but the only thing to really measure when comparing bows is feet per second. It's the only thing you scientifically measure. So it's the only comparison we could make here, you know, that that's really means anything. Uh, the rest of it's all hearsay. So um, unless, I, unless I set up, you know, targets and measured penetration, and that's, you know, maybe that's another video. But um, uh, as far as speed goes, um, I'm not all the way there with the traditionalists saying speed's irrelevant. I, I would not say speed's irrelevant because all things being equal, more speed, better, right? Speed's going to help. It's going to, with all things being equal, but more speed, speed is going to have is going to be penetrate better. Um, so your arrow is going to be more deadly if it's moving faster. So um, nobody should think speed's irrelevant. And more important than that is the factors in speed. The faster an arrow is going, the flatter an arrow is going. So all the calculations your brain needs to make of yardage and you know where to hold your bow arm. And the arc of the arrow, the less arc of the arrow and the flatter shooting, the more room for error there is there. So if your brain's off a little bit on calculation, but your arrow's going faster and flatter, well, you're going to be closer to your target. So there's a factor that speed's important in. And then I would think the most important factor of speed is, is um, the time that you release the arrow to the time that it hits the deer. Because as we all know, especially whitetail hunters, deer jump arrows, jump string, um, when you're a traditional bow hunter. If, if they're looking at you and you shoot, they're gonna move. So that's probably the biggest thing. How much can they move before that arrow hits them? You know, is it enough to injure them, you know, or a total miss, an injury, uh, or maybe still in kill zone? So um, that's what I would say is our biggest benefit in having more feet per second. So, um, you know, I wouldn't discount feet per second, but I'm not trying to, um, to act like it's the only thing going. You know, it's just really, really my reason for it here is, is that it's the only thing measurable. That's it.